Okay, in this video, we're taking the boat out. Uh, gonna test it, see if it leaks. If it doesn't leak, we'll uh, see how it runs in the water, and if it runs good and doesn't leak, then we'll hop in there and do a little test drive. I don't have the seat or anything finished because I'll eventually put a backrest on here so I don't uh, fall onto the motor. Uh, I got my paddle just in case, and I'm gonna go get some gas. So here we go, pulling it with the lowered short bed because if the boat doesn't run, at least I'll have the lowest truck at the boat ramp. Out here at the lake, gonna back it down in there and see how bad it leaks. I've already noticed a couple little spots, but I'm more concerned about where I welded it up here. So here we go. All right, we didn't stay at the lake very long. Didn't take long to notice that there was way too many leaks to try to test drive the boat. Uh, so I came home and put some water down in the bottom of the boat to make it easier to see where the water was coming from. Um, <clears throat> the major leak that I found was I didn't put one of the screws in the ride plate and I didn't realize that those screws came all the way through to the top side of the hole. So <clears throat> that was leaking pretty good. Um, I'm leaking a little bit right in there can't really see it but it's leaking right out of that corner so I'm gonna try to glue some more put some more glue in there once it dries out and that was about it Just other than a few of the rivet heads leaking on the bottom but those aren't too major so hopefully we'll get this figured out and get out on the water pretty soon okay we're back at the lake after testing it yesterday it's not leaking quite as bad so I'm gonna see if it'll actually run on the water I got my paddle just in case it doesn't I'll pull the phone back out after we get it running in the water okay well I was out on the water I couldn't record anything because it took both hands just to hang on I was underestimating how hard it would pull um, so once I got it started it run pretty good uh, it seems to be cavitating a bit I think I have the the trim set too high on the jet. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But the main reason I stopped is because I noticed there's a bunch of water back here. So I thought it was leaking really bad, which it is still leaking a little bit right in this corner. But I don't know if you can see. Um, right. Right down there, there's a fitting that's supposed to hook into the exhaust to pull the water out. Um, I did not put a hose on that because I don't have the end of the exhaust pipe. So that was just spraying water in the back of the boat. So I'll definitely have to put a backrest on the seat because the first time I pulled the throttle, I fell off the back of it. Um, and I got to figure out, I lost my lanyard for the kill switch, so I was just sitting on that, which was really comfortable, but at least when I fell off the seat, it shut off. So we're going to load it back up on the trailer, um, let the water drain out, and see if I can fix that one left leak, because I only noticed water on this side when I started in the water. That side over there was pretty dry. So that was somewhat successful of a test drive. I will uh, try to fix that coolant line and maybe come back out tomorrow or the next day, depending on the weather. All right, we're out here working on the boat. Uh, I'm getting ready to pull the jet pump off because the leak is coming from in behind here, somewhere, actually down here. Oh, it's coming from back there. Um, I tried stealing it from the outside, but I can't get to it, so. I'm going to pull the pump off and then try to get this piece back off. I'll have to reseal these holes, but that's not a big deal. Um, and hopefully I can get that sealed. And what I might do, if I can find the hole, I might uh, slit this corner right here, cut this over, because that goes back in there pretty far. I might slit that and then run a bead all the way down and then kind of fold that in against it so it's got a little bit more surface area. So go ahead pull these four bolts out and then this pump should come right off I got some more glue down in there I found a crack that was not full of uh, 
adhesive so I cleaned it out and put some more stuff in there I'm gonna let that set up and then I'm gonna test it before I put the pump back in uh, I went ahead and drilled some holes here and on the other side for the bilge pumps which are down there uh, the reason I got two is because the way this hole is in here the water won't flow back and forth so one of them would only drain one side so I'm gonna go ahead and get these uh, glued in and tightened up tonight so they'll be set up for tomorrow and then hopefully if the leaks fixed I can put the pump back together and we can take it back to the lake and try it again okay I got the boat back behind the house again uh, got some water in it and I don't see any leaks here where it was leaking from before so I'm gonna call it good uh, while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and put some hose that I bought on the bilge pumps so I can try to see how well they'll pump the water out of here and then we'll get ready to start putting it back together for another water test probably tomorrow after the silicone around the pump seals up seems to work. see from that last clip we are in the lake um, boats running pretty good there's some water in the back but most of that is splashing up over the back so I'm not really sure what that's about um, so far according to my GPS I've got up to 34 miles an hour and uh, I was about there on the throttle so should be able to do close to 40 I'd say when it's done but the water's not super smooth out here right now and still learning the boat so just happy it's not uh, sinking yet so it's good sorry it's so noisy I haven't figured out what to do with the uh, exhaust yet so it's just coming out right there and it's pretty loud
<coughs> We're out here in the Jet John, trying a little fishing. Not having much luck. Uh, most of the leaks are gone. Uh, there's some water in this side, but that's because it rained this morning. But uh, this spot here is about 10 miles from where I put in at, way over there. So it's running pretty good. I haven't done much video while it's running inside the boat because it's super loud and it just kills the microphone. So I might do a, a time lapse on the way back so you can see how it goes across the water. The lake's pretty smooth today. It gets a little rougher out there in the big section. So far pretty good with the boat. We did manage a top speed with two people in the boat of 38 miles an hour. Uh, I have not yet wired up my trim motor. Um, I got a switch for it. I just got to figure out a place to mount it and then it might make it easier to get the trim right while we're testing the top speed. But so far 38 is not too bad. It feels pretty fast in a boat this size. made it back to the ramp I quit recording because it started looking really rainy so I used one hand to hold on so I could go a little faster to try to get back before it started raining so now I'll pull the truck down and get this thing loaded up all right last part of this video here we're gonna be getting the boat ready for another trip uh, I'm gonna put an exhaust on it because the other one was really loud so I got some PVC pipe and some elbows and all I'm gonna do is run out of that over the transom down to the bottom of the boat and turn it back and we'll see how that does it'll just be temporary and if it quiets it down I'll try to make it look a little nicer okay got the pipe made up got a coat of paint on it letting it dry and I'll flip it over and paint the other side but uh, didn't really record putting it together because I didn't think it was interesting but that's going to do it for this video on the boat. Maybe next time we'll have a clip from outside the boat. Um, but we didn't have the other boat in the water at the time. So thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment about what you want to see next.